Hi there, Rita West with the Ramblings of a Redheaded Stepchild. I'm still driving. And I totally did not change my shirt in the car to make it look like I was doing a different video. I did change my shirt in the car. But you know what? I'm wearing a big supportive sport bra and I got a tube hanging out of my boobs. So it's very unsexy. Well, I mean, it's unsexy if you look at it from over here. But whatever, that doesn't matter. This, that's not the point of this. <laughs> I am here to talk. So I am in the process of getting facial laser hair removal. Facial laser, yeah, that sounds right. And you know what? I was, um, somebody sent me a question yesterday and it just made me think, you know what? Let's just put this out there because, again, Rita, why the hell would you want to talk about these things? And basically because... It's not the same thing for you girls out there with your little peach fuzz, you know, genetic hair growth. It's different. And there are women out there thinking about getting it done or wondering about the process or have questions about it. And either they're afraid to ask or, you know, maybe they just don't know about anybody that's gone through it. And Lord knows I spent plenty of years wishing I had had more women that were open and honest about things I had questions about. So... I decided to just put it out there because, um, you know, it's definitely something that some of us um, are either considering now or going to wind up wanting to consider, right? And so, um, going through things that I didn't even realize, you know, um, knew nothing about when I started the process, hopefully this is helpful. So, um, basically, it sounds to me because I went and checked two places. Um, here in Syracuse, we have Milan, M-I-L-A-N. And then the place that I wound up going with, which is Talks and Pout, which I think is kind of funny because it's called Talks and Pout, right? Because, and they do like the Botox and stuff too. And I'm sitting here thinking, Tox, is that like toxic poison that you're putting in your lips to make them look pouty, ducky? Uh, you know, I don't know, whatever. But it's a very, a very classy joint or whatever. But, um, uh, there's some Louis Vuitton <laughs> book sitting on the on the coffee table. Great people too. But here's the deal, right? So I, those are the only two places I checked. I know there's other places, but um, the reason I wound up going with the one I did is because um, Milan. I liked Milan's package, but they didn't have any locations where um, I had planned to move. They didn't have any locations in Las Vegas, and so. Um, it didn't matter either way. I was going to have to go to somebody else too for any kind of touch-ups. So um, the toxin pout wound up being cheaper. But Milan wound up running a half-off sale and it wound up being the same, about, somewhere around the same as what I paid over at toxin pout. And to be honest, if that had happened, um, if I had known about that or if it had happened in, at the time that I was looking, um, I would have gone with Milan because Milan does lifetime includes lifetime touch-ups in their package and the place I went to doesn't so anyway that's the only difference between the two places and basically laser hair now I've had people say do you mean electrolysis and no I don't mean electrolysis it's laser hair no it is not permanent um well I mean you know you have to get touch-ups so no yes the hair will grow back some so uh, you know some you have to get touch-ups but I asked the people what the point of doing that then, why don't everybody, why doesn't everybody just get electrolysis? And what she told me was that electrolysis is extremely painful. And let me tell you, that's gotta be bad because this, this, this was painful enough. But that electrolysis was extremely painful and um, not a lot of people could do it. So I don't know, that's, uh, I, I have no other experience. That's just what she told me. So anyway, <coughs> both places I purchased a package you would have purchased so I purchased a package and at this place it's like eight to ten sessions and it's supposed to get you all the way to the end all hair removed from the area that you're purchasing and um, now the thing I think that I don't know if touch-ups are standard for everybody but I'm gonna speak from the perspective of an enhanced muscular female okay so of course let's you know whatever um years and years of this um you know uh the physical enhancing drugs drugs sometimes overusing um definitely is you know something that uh, you know uh hair facial facial hair growth definitely a side um effect and uh something that i deal with so 
the difference between typical females who have just genetically, you know, occurring facial hair, like on their lip or wherever, um, is that, of course, it's coarser and, um, and, and fuller. So, it, you know, it's like, it's kind of hard to tell, like, how many strands of hair are in an area. And so, basically, I have more than, like, the typical, um, like, peach fuzz, I call it, but that soft facial, genetically grown facial hair that a typical woman would have. So, um, so that package gets you to the end where it's all removed, right? But, especially if you're going to continue using, which, let's just be honest, I have no intention of stopping. So, um, if you continue to use, then, um, it will, it will, it will spur new growth, but it takes a while. It's not like you have to go back for, um, touch-ups all the time. I mean, um, what the laser does is it like literally burns it right out of the pore. And, um, and so, I mean, it's gone, gone. So it would take, it would take time to like restore and it never comes back full like it was before again. They just said touch-ups, right? Okay. So eight to 10 sessions. It doesn't take long. You sit down, they put this gel on. I'll tell you what, the, okay, so the first time I went in, I hadn't shaved because I wanted them to know exactly what I was dealing with and uh, wish you would have said something beforehand, but that was like the most painful thing I've ever felt in my life. And dude, I've got a very high tolerance for pain, okay? And I know a lot of people say that, but I like literally do, right? So that was painful. And then she told me that it was because the laser is actually burning the hair off. So if you come in shaven, it would hurt less. Okay. So next time I came in, all shaved. It still hurt like freaking, let me say the third time I came in, it hurt. And I was like, I've never, I can't think of anything. I have had tattoos in some of the most sensitive spots and I've been able to sit through it, you know, even though it was like, ah, this is hurt so bad. I literally just like, it was in my head. I was like, I want to tap out. I don't want to do this anymore. Fuck this. You know, that's how badly it freaking hurt. And to the point of like, sometimes you, like, I'm like freaking straining. I'm holding onto a chair to keep myself from um, jerking away from her. And when she finally stops, it, I literally had this urge to just punch her. That's how much it hurts. And um, so I go in. I mean, it was the end of that session. I ask her, I'm like, listen, this really, really hurts. Why does this hurt so bad? And she said basically because, um, again, you know, the difference between like a typical woman who would not have quite as full hair, it's almost like a dude. And so the more hairs there are, the more, um, uh, the more painful it is. And then that would reduce over time when, as you know, as you go in and more of, more of the uh, hairs are dyed out, burned out, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So first of all, my first advice <clears throat> to anyone, to any female going in to have this done is make sure that you are shaven before you go in for your session. Okay. So they put this gel all over your face and then they do a pass and that's what they call it, right? A pass. And they take this thing and you know, and it like freaking zaps, zaps away at hairs in your um, face. And so you can go in like some people like so again, the typical female, right, might only have lip hair, might only have this, right? So what I get done is a full facial, and full facial just means, you know, anywhere that the hair would be growing. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, right? So it's not like they do my forehead or anything. Um, uh, so gel, zap, 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 right? And then she goes through a couple times in each spot. Well, I had this different lady. So I'll tell you, like I said, they were painful. So I had a different lady this last time because the one that usually does it, she's out on maternity leave. And it was so much more tolerable. So I'll tell you what this one did. This last lady, she would go through and she would do a pass. But first of all, she didn't just go straight across. She kind of like, you know, moved around all over the place. But she would just do it a little bit and then cool it off. Do it a little bit and then cool it off. And that was so much more tolerable. So... You know, again, something that you could suggest to the person if you find that it's like more painful than you are able to tolerate, you know, you let's ask for him to do something like that. Anyway, so I can say that it's not, you know, and I'm, I've had five sessions now. I think it was five. I think I just had my fifth and um, not completely working yet. I still shave every day, but I, what they said is that you'll notice that it'll get patchier. And I, I guess I would say that it seems like some areas, it's definitely still there, but some areas maybe, it I can feel it's thinning out is what it seems like. 
okay? So this is a really long process, and I'll tell you what else, it's every four weeks, you have to, it's, you can't go less than, earlier than four weeks, and you can't go later than six, so within that four to six week period, so if you're talking eight sessions every four to six weeks, this is like, I forget what it came out to, it was like a year, it's over, a year, around a year or something, and um, uh, so it does take a long time, but will definitely be worth it at the end. Um, and I can keep people, I'm trying to think if I had any other suggestions because that woman called me and she was like, definitely wanted to know how it worked out. Another thing too, is that if you have light hair, light body hair, which trust me, I realize I'm very lucky. I have much, much lighter body hair than a lot of females out there. Um, and I feel bad and I'm sorry. And I realize that I am lucky and I'm, you know, like uh, not trying to complain when there's others out there worse off than I am. I don't, you know, uh, you know, my five o'clock shadow can't be seen. So, um, but I have like so, but over time, and so we're talking years, right? So over time, the hair has started to get darker, and that's good for me because this does not work on light colored hair. Um, you also can't have a tan because it does something. It has something to do with like the laser burst the pigment. Um, so. They want you to be tan free and um, and you have to have some sort of darker hair. And uh, so if you have light color hair, this kind of just isn't going to work for you. But um, yeah, I think that's all I got right now. It's pretty simple. It just hurts a lot. My last session didn't hurt quite as much as the other ones did. But um, I can keep you updated. So like I said, this was my fifth one. And I can keep people updated because, you know, um, like I said, that's something that, you know, as a female, if you're going to, um, continue to do, to continue to do the, the steroids and stuff, it's something you're going to probably at some point in your life have to consider. Of course, um, you know, it depends on how much you do or whatever, but, uh, um, but yeah, so it's different than, you know, than like, just like the young Italian lady who doesn't want, you know, who gets the, like the hair on her lip or anything. Um, I will keep you updated if you have any specific questions because I feel like I'm forgetting something. It is a really quick process, so maybe that is the whole thing. They zap it, cool it, gel, pass, I'm done, and then I make my next appointment. Yeah, it's really all it is. <laughs> it just hurts. So if you have any questions about it, though, um, go ahead. You can either, you know, you could just drop it in the comments below the, uh, below the video. Or you can get a hold of me on um, Instagram, boss.bitch.x. Uh, or you can go to my website, bossbitchx.com, and there's a contact button. You could, you know, get a hold of me with questions there as well. And um, I will still, you know, and then, and probably not until this is done again, I will come and give an update on how everything went. But, uh, but yeah, I hope it helps, you know, um, I think definitely worth it. Very, very expensive. I'll tell you that ahead of time too. Of course, a lot of these places have like financing options and, um, there's credit care, which is kind of like a credit card for medical procedures. Uh, but yeah, just so you know, ahead of time. So I guess that's it. I'll talk to you soon.